Hello my soccer universe for another maintenance video if you would like it's also the perfect timing uh, transitioning from international break into the club jerseys because we'll use both of these. I have been during the international break on a weekend I took up all the courage that I had and applied a couple of patches on some of the shirt on some shirts all four are back there we got two with all the league patches for the two Milan shirts here and for the two Premier League shirts uh, right here and I want to share my experience with you on some uh, pretty nice shirts now how to apply this myself before we get into it what will I use or what do we need for these uh, videos we first need the patches so I have here a bunch of patches that I want to apply we have a Premier League Champions 1920 we have a 2021 um, Serie A patch and I have a full uh, Euro 2020 qualifiers patch set. Those patches I want to apply to the following shirts. The Premier League patch will of course go on the Liverpool shirt. We'll put the Serie A patch on this Napoli shirt and, and this was the longest one, the whole qualifier set I will put on the Renaissance shirt. So all of these will finally find a home. What will I be using for this? Now, first thing we need the shirts and the patches, of course. Then we'll need some heat resistant paper. One of my, my most commonly found comment, what type of paper are you using? Some heat resistant paper. And I think you can go to your grocery store and get some baking paper heat resistant over 200 degrees but if you buy shirts and they come online they're usually packed up i mean all the big brands have it they usually come with a lot of paper inside keep that paper because if you want to apply patches yourself that's the paper you want to use we are also going to use a household iron as it is the one that, that we have and in addition I'm going to use books as a surface and we will need a flat surface as well. So, okay, I'm all set up and I want to start out with putting the uh, Premier League Champions patch on this Liverpool shirt that I got. Uh, note now that the Liverpool shirt doesn't have any sleeve sponsor here as well. So uh, this was early in the season where they actually were wearing this patch to the right and to the left. So I could actually put it on either sleeve. However, I have decided I want to keep my options open. It will not be yet the finished article, but uh, the patch definitely will go on the right sleeve. So therefore, this is where I'm going to position it. Now, the first thing is, uh, where do you position it on the sleeve? The Premier League regulations are actually rather vague, but what I have done for the other two shirts that I have, um, uh, Premier League shirts where I've applied it, the one thing that the Premier League is very um, decided is that it has to be parallel to the sleeve cuff. So basically you want to line up the lower edge of the patch with this, um, with this line here and you can see already it's not uh, very, 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 very straight. Uh, but you know, it just needs to roughly um, coincide there. Secondly, uh, if you have the shirt like this you see there's a little crease and i think you can orient yourself very well on this crease that i find here so i will po uh, position it based on the sleeve cuff and on this crease and now the last thing is that and i don't have that patch we need to leave some room because there was actually no room for racism put here as well which uh, eventually i would love to have as well and then we'll decide on the left sleeve too so this is roughly the position i want to put it in now i am aware that this will not never be the exact perfect uh, position that you will you might get um in the game and and so on but uh looking at some match pictures i think this fits it rather rather well now next up is Although the iron board is hard, there's a little bit of cushioning. You want to actually get a really uh, good solid surface that you can apply enough pressure on it. 
And for that, and this is a tip that I got from my friend Idris from Amour du Maillot, put a little book under. So, I have it positioned. We have to reposition probably, but I put a book under. So now I have a much more solid surface. A hard bag is definitely better than a paper bag in this case. And let's try to reorient ourselves one more time. Of course, this little bubble here is exactly where I want to put it. Okay, so we have that positioned, I think, rather well. And then we have to put protection on it. Because if you now put the iron over, uh, you will get a rather ugly stain. So I'm going to use... a double layer of this heat resistant paper and you can see already the patch is coming through now as for the iron i actually have it on a rather high temperature setting but you know uh you don't want to go the highest one i have it uh for the synthetic materials it goes all the way up to the blue i put it on the highest but i think you might it might actually work with some lower temperature as well but I succeeded the other day with this setting, so I will do that. And now you want to put a, a lot of pressure here on this patch. Press a little bit, like for about 10 seconds. Okay, and then I'm moving around to gently go over and with the tip of my iron, I'm going especially around the edges. Okay, let's make a first check whether it worked. Now this is rather hot, so be careful here. What I want to check is now if it comes off cleanly. I think some a little bit more ironing is needed. It's still a bit stuck. This is one of these instances where I actually rather do a little bit more than less just to make sure that it really comes off all clean and you know the heat should actually transfer the glue onto the fabric that's below. Let's try one more time. I think the patch is on, it's just that the plastic doesn't want to come off yet. Here we go, carefully peel it off. Careful, careful, careful. And here you go. The patch is applied and it fits quite nicely on it. Okay, next up is the Napoli shirt from the 24th shirt from the 2021 season. I already put the book under the sleeve here. I actually wanted to use a slightly thicker book, but um, like the Liverpool shirt, the copper sleeves is a relatively um, a thin, so I, I needed to use a smaller book. Now, the previous patch was a rather flat one. The Serie A patches have quite some depth to it, uh, if you see here, uh, which when I applied the 200 Milan shirt meant I needed to work it a little bit harder. As for the placement of this one, I looked at a few pictures. Now, um, it is rather centered in between the sleeve cuff, this sleeve cuff and the lower Uomini logo. And what I decided to do is, I again, I use the lower edge here and there's also in the fabric is fortunately a, a nice pattern in there. Now, the pattern doesn't go exactly parallel with the sleeve cuff here. However, it goes relatively well 
with the Omni logo. However, when I look at it, now it's, we need to adjust it slightly. And as I said before, spend enough time of trying to figure out where do you want to place it. Now, the other thing is, and probably I should have looked this up as well. Um, we have the edges here, but you also see that maybe it's not actually very nicely placed on there. You want to have that these edges are fitting nicely within the blue sleeve and not the outer edge of the uh, foil. Again, it might be inches and you know, it depends on your OCD, how much you want to, uh, time you want to spend on it. However, when I look at it this way, the A aligns perfectly, I think with the two uh, backs here. And I also think this lines up quite nicely with the lower edge of the sleeve cuff. So, again, put protection over because we don't want to damage the shirt. And now for this one, I again, I had to actually press quite a, a long time and work really the edges to get this um, very nicely on. To again, same heat setting as before, and we put it on. You want to press as hard as possible here, and then again, I go on the edges. not quite on there yet. Now we got it. Again, let it cool down maybe a little bit more. Here we go, after a little bit of a cool down. We finally have the logo nicely applied. Okay, last one here. The Renaissance shirt, I wanna patch it up fully and again, uh, I spent now a little bit time on the placement. What is particularly annoying here is that we have here two features on this sleeve. We have the Puma logo and we have the Italy logo. And now I have checked a few pictures and it's, uh, I find more for the left sleeve, more uh, better for uh, pictures than for the right one. But from what I can tell is that this logo is more lined up with the Puma logo than it is with the Italy flags, which is honestly a teeny bit annoying. I also see that, uh, you know, we can place it up and down the sleeve. I think it's a teeny bit, it was placed a teeny bit more down towards the sleeve. However, I think I want to keep it a little bit more centered here. Now, uh, the nice thing with the I really like the UEFA logos uh, because they have this felt feel and there's also a kind of a 3D texture to it. Uh, which makes them really nice for uh, this reg uh, uh, regard. There's also no um, 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 plastic covering over. So, uh, which actually the one that I applied uh, the other day uh, the, um, for the Manchester City shirt, it was uh, rather easy to apply, much easier than the other two that I had. So, let's replace this again. I want to actually, you know, the dimensions of the Puma logo, I want to align it roughly. Let's go a little bit over there. So, dimensions, and this is all just more or less eyeballing it. But you see already that the lower part, if I go, it does not really go with the Italy flag, which honestly is quite annoying. 
However, if I look at it here, da, 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 sleeve curve, sleeve curve, the width is the same for each of those. And same trick as before, we're gonna take the paper and we're gonna apply some pressure. Note also here I have now a little bit of a thicker book because the Puma sleeves are fortunately a little bit wider. And here we go, it's already sticking. This was relatively easy. So let's work at it on the other side. Again, I have been mostly eyeballing this now for uh, for now. What I have seen on the on the pictures that the respect logo is relatively um, it's not all the way down on the sleeve, which makes sense because there's the seam from the sleeve comes from the lower. So I put it right on the edge there, and then uh, the heart is placed relatively nicely in between those two. And now I have tried to make it that the uh, uh, sides of the shirt are actually kind of nicely lining up with the R and the E of the Respect logo. I think it looks good. Maybe the heart can come a teensy bit down. But again, this is more eyeballing it. And you know, you can either up, you can either go off the pictures that you have but on the other side I also think it should look nice to you as well especially when I see it in conjunction with the other sleeve I wanna have I actually, I actually like those two logos being relatively even on the shirt I think let me get up I think I'm quite happy with this now there are two logos here I could do it one by one but honestly I think I wanna try to do them all at the same time again protection over and these should again go rather easy and there you go fully put on success I wanna go over this edge a little bit one more time UEFA logo perfetto that's it, turn off the iron and we're done. Okay, I think it's time for a little recap. First shirt we did was the Liverpool jersey here, where we have the champions patch. Um, honestly, I probably should have waited a little bit to let it cool down, it would have peeled e easier. This was kind of a little bit of a, a rush job, but you know, I'm sometimes an impatient guy and especially when you shoot you don't want to waste too much time, but it is very nicely applied and fits well. Uh, it was a whole lot of work and the same issue with the Napoli shirt. Let it cool down, but the patch in the end is very nicely applied and even the edges, everything fits quite nicely. It's still a very thick patch, but I actually really like how it looks like. And that's the most important, honestly. Um, I'm most pleased, of course, with the Renaissance shirt. I also think... There is a certain symmetry to uh, these patches that I actually enjoy now, of course. But this is now pull, pushing it. Match details and maybe a name set, but I, honestly, I don't want necessarily want to pull all the name set. I'm actually quite pleased with the patches here. So we have the Euro uh, 2020 patch and then we have the uh, Nations League qualifier, uh, not the Nations, the Euro qualifiers logo with the respect logo all very nicely applied. Again, I am more or less still a rookie in it. I have been reading up on it. I have been trying it. I, it has been successful uh, so far. I'm sure there will come failures along the way, but I'm very pleased of how things work out. Yes, if you do it in the club store, they can measure probably a little bit longer. And that's also a reason why I have not done any name sets yet, because with name sets, you know, there are regulations of how many centimeters below the collar and so on they will be. Whereas with sleeve patches, I found from what I could see, it's much less um, stringent in, in, in a way. 
I actually came to the conclusion it actually has to just look all right and I have to like it. Of course, if you're a stickler for this, this approach might not work. You see, I'm somewhere in between a kind of a laissez-faire approach and kind of trying to see how it was actually applied. And then knowing, yeah, I've been eyeballing it. In the end, I'm satisfied with the result. That's the most important for me. However, others might differ in that regard as well. Any case, please let me know your experiences. I actually realized that the camera is a little bit tilted, so be it. Let me know your experiences in applying patches. Uh, if you want to add anything that I did here, maybe you have a better idea than what I did. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!